just talking to the the creator and demanding her story be different um like all of that was such a surprise and it was so it felt risky and it felt like it was going to piss people off <laughs> Having worked on a Disney show, I know where people fall through the cracks and where people are taken advantage of. And it's outrageous the amount of wealth that is not shared with the people who actually make the show. That's crew, cast, writers. She-Hulk actress Tatiana Maslany looks to have been fired by Disney as season two of She-Hulk is no longer happening. And Tatiana is not happy about it as she blames the show's downfall on its creator. People all over the internet are claiming She-Hulk actress Tatiana Maslany has been fired by Disney. Altogether, as season two is nowhere in sight. If Tatiana is actually fired, that means we probably won't be seeing her in any future MCU project. Some earlier claims have been saying Kevin Feige is considering making a second season for the show. However, it's looking like that might not actually be the case, as the show's horrible ratings have become very concerning. The show is currently the worst rated MCU series, which is more than enough reason to scrap the project. However, it's still quite shocking to hear that Tatiana might be fired altogether. Several Raptors online are saying that despite the planned season two, the poor reception is what's stopping the cast and crew from moving forward. The show is only behind in ratings to Ms. Marvel, which has similarly been rumored to get a second season. However, Ms. Marvel has much higher chances of survival, considering Kamala's future in the MCU. That's not to say it's a much bigger success, as The Marvels is officially the worst-rated MCU movie that has surely cost Disney hundreds of millions of dollars. After the failure, it's more than likely that Disney will be scrapping its less profitable projects, which no doubt starts with Tatiana's project. Even the original writer of the She-Hulk book is doubting its future, as they've revealed Marvel is planning on scraping not only that, but also several other future Marvel projects like Wonder Man. However, now that other projects like Echo have been revealed, it's possible the MCU is planning on changing things and putting several projects under the new Marvel Spotlight name, which is a separate world from the other MCU projects. It's possible that both She-Hulk and Ms. Marvel could still have have a future under Marvel Spotlight along with Wonder Man and perhaps even other projects like the Marvels, which would separate them from the original MCU universe and give them a chance to live out their life in a different manner. If Tatiana was indeed fired, then that means her involvement in the MCU is doubtful, which is why it would make sense for her to perhaps return in the future under Marvel Spotlight. Tatiana getting fired is not a new thing either, since it's actually been speculated that she might be late off ever since the strikes began due to her comments regarding Bob Iger and his views on the strike. The Disney CEO claimed that the strikes were both disturbing and disruptive for the workspace, and he was even accused by Ron Perlman of purposely dragging out the strike until union members lost their houses. The controversial take and Bob Iger's comments weren't well received as many people felt he was making a mockery out of the people who were just trying to make a living and the ones who were holding up his empire. That's why Tatiana couldn't help herself from commenting on his views, and she actually decided to blast him publicly as she came out in support of the strikes. Not only did she condemn his views, but she even accused him of taking advantage of the people working on She-Hulk something which even one of the writers for the show stood forward to confirm. Tatiana commented on the matter, saying, I think he's completely out of touch. He's completely out of touch with the workers who make his shows happen, who make people watch these shows, who bring viewers to him and him money. Having worked on a Disney show, I know where people fall through the cracks and where people are taken advantage of, and it's outrageous the amount of wealth that is not shared with the people who actually make the show. That's crew, cast, writers. She condemned Bob Iger for both his views of his workers and the way he took advantage of them, which was an incredibly bold move, but might also have had a huge influence on her fate in the MCU at the moment. However, she wasn't just saying lies either as a writer for the show did come out on Twitter to blast Bob Iger for the very little pay they received. Cody Ziegler tweeted out twice saying, My residual check was $396. This is why we're striking. 
The residual check from my episode of She-Hulk Attorney at Law was $396. This was especially jarring for others to hear since despite the show's overall bad ratings, the episode worked on by Cody Ziegler was actually one of the most watched episodes of TV and even one of the most watched episodes on Disney+. Not only that, but it was even praised so much that it made several best episodes of 2022 lists. This just goes to show that despite what many were saying, the show did have some great numbers, which the writers and hard workers on the show never got any compensation for. With all this in mind, Tatiana has actually been doubting that the second season of her show would ever come to light, as she realized very quickly that she would never get the opportunity to come back to set. Even back in October of last year, things stood pretty clear to her when asked if it would be coming back. I mean, I don't think so yet. Kevin in the scene seems to be very dismissive of this idea, so if we're basing this off of the real Kevin, then it doesn't seem likely. But he was also, I think, just trying to get rid of Jen at that point because she was asking too many questions. Who knows? In fact, things stood so badly that when the interviewer recommended that she move on to other projects, Tatiana was more than prepared as she completely agreed. It sounds like all hope had already been lost at the time as she was already fully prepared to move on to other projects. Even when told that a lot of fans would be sad to see the show gone, Tatiana unfortunately had no hopeful words to share, as even she felt very defeated by the situation. She said, I mean, I don't know. If I could be coy and have some little secret, I would odd that, but I really don't. I don't know anything. It's not that Tatiana doesn't want to return either, as she shared that she loves the character and loves doing the show, and her defeated stance was not easy for her, so come to terms with. It sounds like she truly wasn't ready for this when she first got the role, as the character and its future seemed very promising at the time. However, while Tatiana seems very saddened by the fact that she won't be returning and is struggling to come to terms with it, other actors on the show seem fully ready to move on. Jamila Jamil has been very open about her goodbye to the show, as she's come to terms with the fact that she'll never be returning to the show. She tweeted a goodbye to not only her own character, but also to the show itself, saying, Goodbye from us, She-Hulk fans, and Titania C.S. It was extremely fun to make this cartoonish satire with this astonishingly talented cast, creative team, and mostly crew. I had too much fun with all of you fans and critics alike on here. I love Marvel and I love all of you. Even more proof that Tatiana has no chance of returning to the MCU is also the showrunner's stance on the project since she seems to doubt that it's ever going to come back. She's expressed her own denial about the future of the project as she feels like she isn't quite ready to let go of it yet, despite the fact that everyone seems to be telling her that it's time. She said, How I feel about all of this at this very moment is how my friends with kids have described having their first child, which is you have your first baby, and then everybody starts asking, when are you going to have your second one? And they're all like, I literally just gave birth and I'm in the delivery room still recovering and that's all I can think about right now. And that's how I feel. However, it's also worth remembering that the show was perhaps never meant to be something too big and was never meant to have too much influence on the universe since She-Hulk herself was never supposed to be an A-list superhero. Stan Lee, the creator of Marvel himself, even came out to say that She-Hulk was only made as a character so that they would have the rights to a female Hulk in case anyone wanted to expand on their Hulk. Hulk is supposed to be the A-lister, not She-Hulk. Many fans also feel like the character itself was made to pander to woke audiences and that Disney is now turning around and pandering to the anti-woke crowd instead by canceling She-Hulk and her future in the MCU. However, it's doubtful that this had anything to do with the show being called Woke and more to do with the poor writing choices and the fact that the story itself was never strong. It's hard to expand on She-Hulk as a character Character in the MCU itself, and this may be the best possible move for the future of the MCU to not waste anyone's time by forcing her to enter the narrative. Do you guys think Tatiana has any shot of staying in the MCU? Let me know down below and don't forget to check out this other video.